what actually happens when you type google.com into your browser. First, your computer is going to look through what's called the cache, which is sort of like internet history to see if you visited this website recently. But now let's say you're looking for a website you've definitely never been to before, say bing.com. Well, in this case, your computer is going to make a request to the internet service provider asking where the Bing servers are. And if your ISP doesn't know, it's going to make a request to the DNS server, which is basically just a giant spreadsheet that maps domain names to their IP addresses. So now the Bing IP address comes back to your computer and your computer sends a request to that IP address or the server at that IP address saying, I just want to see bing.com. And that server sends the information for bing.com back to your computer and it does so using HTML, which is just a standardized format for expressing the contents of a web page using only text. Oh, and by the way, all of this happens through literal wires under the ocean, sending pulses of light for thousands of miles. But do you ever wonder how does the internet actually work? 